Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the secret area in chapter 5. At the start of chapter 5, defeat all the enemies and after you defeat this NPC, he will become friendly and you can talk to him. Make sure to exhaust all his dialogue and he will ask you to help him destroy some fire cards. The first one is actually just above this area that you are. Head over the stairs and you're going to encounter the first fire cart. Defeat that enemy and at that point you can come back to talk to the NPC again to exhaust all his dialogues. After that, just go back to the top and continue with the main story. This chapter is relatively linear, so as long as you follow the main story, you will encounter the second fire card in this chapter. As you progress with the main story and you defeat the first major boss, you will encounter this third fire card. But this time the NPC is going to be there and fighting along with you. After the third fire card is destroyed, talk to the NPC again and exhaust all his dialogues. Continue with the main story until you reach the shrine Ashen Pass 3. From here, you're going to take the narrow path on your left. You're going to be faced with this rolling ball. Time your run and you can wait in the spots with enemies. You're gonna have to patiently do this all the way until you reach the top. There's going to be a cinematic and you're going to continue going up to unlock the next shrine. Which is Fallen Furnace Crater. Now what you have to do is actually go back down because the secret path now has opened. You're going to go all the way down until you see those two towers on each side of the pathway. Just pass those two towers by a little bit and now you're going to encounter another path that goes to the left. There is this rock enemy that is very similar to the one that you encounter in chapter 2. As you continue, you will encounter another enemy called Mother of Flamelings. You have to kill the little dragon worms, the little fire worms that you see around. So you have to kill at least four of those to get the materials. And then once you go to the center, you will be able to deliver that material and activate this enemy. Once you defeated those enemies, just continue down the path. And now you are going to encounter with the final card. And this one is a little bit tougher than the other ones, but it's not a particularly tough enemy. And once it is defeated, go talk to this NPC. And after that, you will be able to open that big gate. You will face a couple of bosses in this area, but nothing, nothing difficult, I would say. I would say that generally speaking, this area or the entire chapter five for that matter, the bosses are relatively easier than chapter 4. Alright, that is it for the video. I hope this was helpful. Enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.